it's Debbie, also known as Mama Shine. It's been a while since I've done a video um, for YouTube, so I think I'm going to do that today. And I thought I would use these new Plumeria flower sheets that I created. I did the illustration of these, and they remind me of a bygone era, so to speak. Um, back in the early 80s, um, I airbrushed some paintings. I have a couple that I can show you that are hanging up on my walls even still. So um, it's kind of neat to go back to those roots and go back to doing uh, floral illustrations, which I have always enjoyed doing. So I'm gonna keep it really simple. Um, I'm just going to use these for my stickers, and I'm going to use this um, Jane Davenport Coral um, Color Brush Pen for some lettering, and I'm also going to use this Le Pen. It's just a pink color. Um, I don't know if there's a name of a color on there, but anyway, let me get started. Um, there are two sheets here. This one just has all the flowers without being cropped at all. And then this one has four that can go in like corners. And then I just filled in the space with some more. So I'm going to use these and I think maybe I'll go this way with it. So I'm just going to start and as you can see, they are cropped along two edges here. So you can see how it looks. I thought I would put these down first and I could go all the way to the edge, but I don't think I will because um, I don't like sticky edged paper. So I'm going to just lay it right there on top of this. And once again, I am crooked, but that's me. I'm crooked. Now doesn't that look nice? Just look at that. These are so pretty. And I think I want to do some more. Each flower um, took me over an hour to draw. So it's, it's a pretty time consuming process, but I do enjoy it. So that is so pretty. So next I'm going to write my weekdays down and I'm doing Thursday, July 18th and Friday, July 19th. And I don't know how much room I need to write this out. I kind of feel like I should maybe just kind of lightly sketch out the lettering with just a pen just to make sure I'm gonna have enough room and I think I'm gonna try to fit it in here I could abbreviate it and I think that's what I'm gonna do just do like that and then I can put my date number up here at the top this one I'm not so worried about it I have a little bit more room so I could spell it all the way out, but I'm kind of funny in that I don't like to have one abbreviated and one spelled out on the same spread. So I may just do the same thing. And maybe I'll just put that one up here. Just kind of do like that. We'll see. Hopefully this pen will cooperate with me. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So there's my thurs. Let's get my fry.
There we go. And for the numbers, I feel like I want some plumerias with flower with numbers in them. <laughs> over from our weekly standard vertical kits. So I'm just going to put that right down on top. I need to cover up part of the flower, but I kind of need my dates on there. And I wanted to, you know, go with the whole theme. So now I have those, and I don't have a lot to put down for my to-dos. And since this sort of matches our, our uh, tropical summer, sub and that's what the sheet is left over from there's still some boxes and stuff on here and this is good because we have both this style and this tile and i'm going to use both of them here Okay, I'm going to jump over to the other page. Of small ones. You know, no matter how many we have, we always want more, isn't that right? That looks good. I'll squeeze this one in here. And even if it overlaps a little bit, that's not going to bother me. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? And very easy to do. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll be back soon, I hope. Thank you. Bye-bye.